Now that Atlanta voters have approved the $750 million Moving Atlanta Forward infrastructure package, the project is already living up to its name. That's because it's going to be a lot easier for the city to literally move forward on streets that are being repaired and repaved, along with new sidewalks and trails to help Atlanta residents navigate traffic more efficiently, equitably, and safely. Atlanta is a city built for the future, and we're making smart infrastructure investments for our current and future needs to make sure that we're prepared for now and in the future. And so some of those investments are going to be in transportation to make sure that we have safe, equitable, accessible access to uh, getting around this great dynamic city. But we also want to make sure we do it in a sustainable way. Millions of dollars will also be invested in improvements to public safety, upgrading equipment and buildings for the police and fire departments, as well as 911. Money will also be used to increase the number of security cameras throughout the city. Over at Atlanta's historic Oakland Cemetery, there's cause for celebration beyond the restoration of the old bell tower. The cemetery is also one of the city's many green spaces and is actually part of the Parks and Recreation Department which is also in line for tens of millions of dollars in infrastructure funding. One, two, three, cut. Some of that money will help improve the cemetery, which will have an impact on the local economy, just like the renovated bell tower will. Parks and Recreation will spread the improvements out all over the city, addressing various maintenance issues and upgrading facilities for both employees and the public. Among the bigger projects is the demolition and rebuild of the Reverend James Orange Rec Center, which will be more than twice its current size. Basically, the city of Atlanta Department of Parks and Recreation is, will be in receipt of $147 million. That is broken down to 71 projects, 21 vertical and 50 horizontal projects. And out of those, some of the major projects are $4 million for cameras, like we talked about, $2.4 million for Oakland Cemetery, a host of playgrounds, about $14 million to renovate some of our pools and bathhouses. The city's art community will also get a boost from the infrastructure funding. This mural is basically about the history of the Pittsburgh community and how it all started. LaSalle is one of the many muralists in Atlanta who receive grants from the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs. Just having murals in general just brightens up people's soul. Like when people pass by, they're always honking and just seeing like how much they appreciate this and how much it's almost like a part of what they want. And with the city's help, he gets to express his colorful vision of this community on a concrete canvas nearly a football field long. This amount of support from the city is actually really helpful. I mean, they've been very gracious with me, especially when it comes to hearing my thoughts about the process and how to create this mural. And it's giving me an opportunity to actually work as a full-time artist and create murals like these. Money raised from the T-Splast and bonds will pay for the infrastructure funding, but it's the return on that investment that will help Atlanta solidify its place as a global city. Making smart investments into infrastructure is going to help us with our economic development goals to make sure that Atlanta continues to be the best place in the United States to live. I'm Keith Whitney.